Welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I am your host, Board Gamer Girl, and we are about to start the Tunnels and Troglodyte scenario. To win, you must capture all enemy towns and castles and defeat all enemy heroes. Some border guards can only be passed if a hero carries a quest artifact from a previous scenario, but the reward is great indeed. We can start with Expert Navigation, start with Mage Guild Level 1 in all of our towns, or Mage Guild Level 3. We're going to do the Mage Guild level 1s in all the towns. We now know how Arathia fell to Nyon and Eofol. Through an extensive network of underground tunnels dug by the Overlord's armies, they struck simultaneously in many areas with overwhelming numbers. Credit the military for holding the invasion to half the country. We have discovered the main artery for transporting forces from Nyon to Arathia. It is under the ocean, connecting the Nyon underworld to the Arathian mainland. Bricotta and Avali have sent armies to join the fight. First, we must eliminate the remaining Kriegans and Nyon forces from the mainland. Then pursue them underground and drive them back to the shores of Nyon. The dungeon overlords are clever. While the Devils of Eofor attacked Arathia's borders, the forces of Nyon tunneled nearly the entire distance to Stedwick, launching surprise attacks almost simultaneously across the nation. We should credit the Royal Arathian Military Command for holding the invasion to just the eastern half of Arathia. Regardless, we now have the Dungeon Overlords on the run. Your job is to pursue them back under the Nyon Straits and establish a foothold in their home. Forces from Avli and Bracada will assist us in this final push. No Nyon or Eofol outposts can be permitted to survive in the tunnels. We must teach the dungeon overlords a lesson they will never forget. Good luck. Okay, let's see what we got here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is nutso. Okay, let's see what we got here. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's perfect, actually. Okie dokie. So, our plan here is speed. Speed is incredibly important. We have three towns, but they're all different. They have five towns, and they're all the same, which means that if we leave them for too long, they will be able to build up their resources in such a way that they will just have an unbelievable amount of they will have an unbelievable <laughs> amount of troops because they're all the same. And since we do not have that luxury, we need to be quick in pursuing them and keeping them from getting the jump on us. I don't really want you to have any of that stuff right now. So that's basically our goal here, is to be as quick as possible in getting through this stuff. Okay. Wow, that those are crappy, crappy starting spells. No, not for two, not for two thousand gold. Not right now. Kidding me? I don't have any sort of offensive magic spell. You might be able to take a large force to Nyon by sea, attacking them from above. But you must use caution, as the refilled straits are both wide and treacherous. Yes, well, tell me about it. Okay, I guess we're gonna come up here. And we'll just get you leveled up as quickly as possible. Yes, I want water magic. Okay. So we're gonna basically go... Not a solely one hero strategy. 
Um, there will be one main hero who gets buffed more than others, and I think that's going to be Christian for us. Because Christian is the man. Um, but because he basically he has the ballista, which is good, and he has... Yeah, mainly because he has the ballista. Quite frankly. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think I've said quite frankly too many times, so we'll stop that. Diplomacy. Is diplomacy worthwhile? It might be. In this scenario only. Am I going to say that diplomacy might be worthwhile? Because basically what we're going to really go after is... <laughs> our, our troops that... Okay, we're going to wait a turn before we do that nonsense. Advanced air magic is fine. Let's get this going. We want to get right. So, since we're talking about speed, the basic plan of attack is to build up solely the castle town until we can get archangels, or until we can get angels, and then we'll amass angels for a couple weeks, and then we'll get. Archangels. That is the plan. some stables. Okay, I do want to build a capital. I guess we'll build a capital up here. Get some resources and then we'll come down here and get this stuff. Right, but it's basically our goal to get this stuff done as speedily as possible. But we don't have any... This is obnoxious, that we have no magical spells. Alright, you know what? We're taking the gold. I almost always, as I think you all know, I almost always take experience when it's 1500 because that's a lot of experience. But I want this capital. I do. And then we get something random. Awesome. Okay, so where are we along the path of getting the Portal of Glory? We need 20,000, which we're just not going to have. So we'll build ourselves a citadel so we get more of these troops going. Yeah, 
Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Astral. And you don't have any... You don't have any attack spells that actually do damage. You have Hypnotize. But I don't know if you'll be able to hypnotize the Master Gremlins, so we're going to have to get him uh, a level 2 Mage Guild or something. Apparently. I don't know. Oh, goodness. This was a mistake. I shouldn't have gone after the Horde of Pikemen. Oh good, we're out of magic points. Oh good, attack the ballista, that's what I'm talking about. At least the AI is dumb. Oh, basic wisdom, that's what I'm talking about. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. This is Bored Gamer Girl saying see ya.